and it is uh, good, fun, and entertaining. Is it? Yes. Hello guys, Bayani here. Today we just uh, opened this wall to fix a bathtub that was moved. We put the support, it looks good. We put nail glue and uh, now we're gonna put all this uh, old drywall back on place. And now we're gonna patch it back, use the same drywall. Just, we just cut it. This is the old time and this is the drywall with plaster. So the thickness sometimes is very hard to find a drywall that match it. So we're just gonna use the same, same stuff, same uh, drywall, same plus. Just put it back that way, it's uh, nice and straight. Easier than uh, bring new drywall, try to cut and match it. So um, this is what it is. Yes, is this a recording? We get a, yes, uh, here we're just gonna put some back whatever we need to. And then we're gonna put the dryer back. We're gonna t put, do the mud. And uh, chew with concrete fill, fast set and uh, finish it and get it uh, ready for sanding and paint. Like you guys can see on this board, very interesting. You see, this is the old plast. Looks to be on the old time. They just make some holes on the drywall. That way, the plast will hold better. I mean, like I can put my hand up. This drywall is all with holes. This is a 3/8 drywall plus uh, probably 3/8 plast. Here I just put some backing for the wall, the drywall, and some support because once we cut it was not on the set of the 2x4. This is all what we're doing. <coughs> we just had to cut it in sections. Was not able to remove as one. In this corner here, we're gonna put another backing because it's, um, it's no support. We just uh, we had to cut the drywall. We just put the backing right on the center of the drywall, like that. Just something like you guys can see right there. So. First we screw the, the old drywall on, there we go. Yeah, we just put the, just put the screw on the old, that is holding on. And then we screw the next one. And we just uh, keep on going. And we're just going like that. Then we put some screws on this side. And then we move on to the next piece. And just uh, in the same way. Just put it there. On this end. I'm just gonna put another back. Yeah, the reason that we put so many cuts because we just uh, we could not uh, take it in one piece. Because it's uh, 
sometimes the plastic is a little bit different than drywall. If you want to use it, you cannot reuse it, you cannot just uh, remove it in one whole piece. This is perfect, it's just the dry oil the back there. All the time you deal with the plasters, it happens. Okay, because the puzzle is there all together. All we gotta do now is mud it and make it look good. Hello guys, on this video I'm gonna show you guys how to reuse uh, some drywall that we cut out. Just so we just put it back, that way it save you some time, money and uh, material. Even a piece of drywall that is uh, if the dry oil is just painted, you can reuse it to make some parts instead of going buy a new dry oil. Uh, I know it's a little bit of work, but by the time you go and buy the dry oil to redo this, it'd be like a lot of time involved and time is money nowadays. Yeah, this way you don't have a, you don't have to recut. You just use a red pre-cut and uh, you just. Uh, Put it back, less scrap, it just work perfect, like you can see here. We just cut it, we put it back, we don't have no dry oil scrap. We don't have any scrap, it's just uh, nice and clean. And we reuse the, the product that we have. And it is uh, good, fun, and entertaining. Is it? Yes. Hello guys, I just remove all the loose stuff from the repair. Now I'm gonna preview it. I just on this one, I'm just gonna use my trowel to do the preview. Oh, it would be a little bit fast. This is a concrete fill. So I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do a quick preview in here. All the nice holes are done. So I just finished the preview. 
I'm just gonna put some mesh tape right on top of it. Like you guys can see, I'm just gonna bring This roller works very, very good for the tape. This roller is a uh, excellent tool. You just pull it, clean it right on top of the wet concrete film. And then all this. Uh, all this is small gap, we just put a little tape, like uh, in our previous video, just say that we don't like to overlap because we build up uh, a little bit higher, so we just put the mesh tape in there, go, and then we go next one from, doesn't matter which way, which way you go, from bottom up or from top down, it's just like, on the end it works like exact the same like you guys can see here we have an extra join in there just do it Uh, it might take a few minutes, nothing too crazy, but here will be like a, we're not gonna have like a waiting time, we just need to get this job done, and we're just gonna load it. Right on top of the tape. Now pretty much uh, we're done here with the concrete fill, so we just have to wait about uh, 
when our this thing gonna set, what did happen, we do some cleanup and uh, make some phone calls related to work and uh, we just gonna wait it to set and it'll be good to reload like uh, the whole process doesn't take that long but is, uh, we have a little bit of a waiting time Good drill in here, man. Now, yeah. Hello, guys. Here we just gonna do a scheme and then load on this fresh concrete fill. Uh, let's start. This is just a skin coat. And then I gonna do the finish coat on it. I'm just gonna scrape everything up. That way I kill some of the fish eye. 